certainly doesn't matter how often I come out with Aduro Clean Technologies uh, content. Uh, we are against uh, the time crunch here, and I do want to apologize to my audience here. I could come out with an Aduro video every single day um, and still not do this company justice. It is very, very important that you, for you to take note right now, okay? If you are interested in the plastic recycling space, if you are interested in making money, if you are interested in fortifying your portfolio, if you are interested in, for once, getting the information prior to the large institutions getting that information, stay tuned, okay? You need to embrace, you need to taste, you need to feel, and you need to get excited about what I'm about to declare to you in this video. I'm gonna try to keep it short. I'm gonna try to keep it sweet. But I, again, I cannot do the company justice enough. I, I can't do multiple videos per day. So it is super, super important for you to embrace this opportunity. If you are unfamiliar with, treat it as an introduction to the company. I'm going to talk about the six players in the space of Duro Clean Technologies being one of those, but all of the players in the space up against a grid here, a, a deadline, a barrier that is two short years away, okay? It is the plastic packs. And North America has been signing on both Canada and the United States. And they are putting some restrictions on plastic that are noteworthy, okay? They are noteworthy. And if you enjoy due diligence like I do, they should get your attention to the tune of slapping you right across the face. Because some of these goals that are listed in these packs that we are signing on to are lofty. And they are going to take a couple of things to shift. Most people are in the dark with regard to plastic recycling. Most people don't even know that there's a plastic problem, okay? So educate yourself up and understand that far less than 10% of all plastics that are produced today even get recycled. Most end up in the oceans, most end up in the landfill. You've all seen the pictures. You are at least somewhat aware of the issue right now. And the issue is very, very simple. It comes down to the lack of technology in the marketplace that can successfully recycle hard to recycle plastic. And it is at a molecular level, extremely difficult to recycle. The contaminants that come with the detergents that uh, exist uh, and the labeling that exist require labor intensive sorting to go through and actually prep the plastic for its actual uh, recycling. And the technology right now is absolutely lacking. It requires high inputs of heat, which cost a ton of money. And really the large plastic companies have a problem on their hand in that it is economically un unviable to recycle plastic in this way. It is a net wash wash, if not a net loss to pursue plastic recycling in this capacity. So what do we do? The pact calls for both society changes as well as technological changes. Now, here's the thing. Me and you can agree that we want to do the right thing. We in 2023 are in a transition to acknowledging that we can't continue to destroy the planet that we live on. I think we can all agree with this. We don't have to be green initiative people, but we are all willing to say, look, uh, I'm willing to change. What is it that I can do? What is it that the products can I look for in way of labeling to let me know that I'm purchasing a product that is actually part of the, the, the circular economy, which we're trying to get to, but are right now drastically failing in this end, okay? We are approaching 400 million tons of plastic per year. Now, the pact calls for, get this, a listing of problematic plastic packaging uh, as problematic or unnecessary and take measures to eliminate them. So if you end up on the naughty list and you're part of the big three, which are the tough ones, polypropylene, polystyrene, polyxyrene, those are the tougher molecules to actually 
uh, recycle. And those are the ones that are the culprits that end up in the landfills. Now, these are going to show up on this list. Now, is it because we have no technology out right now? Aduro does. Aduro has this clean technologies. And if the packs align the way that I think they are, we are going to separate the easy to recycle plastic, which only falls in the top 20% of all plastics produced, and the 80% of plastic right now, as we speak right now, is economically unviable to recycle. High heat input, high cost, therefore it is cheaper to ship our garbage across the sea to other countries who introduce it to the landfills or dump it in the ocean. Even those countries now are waking up to the fact that they cannot continue to do that. It is an unsustainable business model to continue to import their plastics from the United States and many of the other developed nations in the world. All right. So think about that. If we start to separate and put these plastics on the naughty list as something that we need to combat, we need to go to war with, we need to have society and technological changes to combat that. That is the first initiative to separate the status quo, what it is that we have and can work with, and what it is is going to end up on this problematic list for packaging, okay? Now get these statistics. 100% of plastic packages designed to be reusable, recyclable, or compostable. I'm not going to comment on compostable because I know enough about the technology, especially Aduro's technology, to understand that reuse is the key. If we can identify with a solution that can be applied and put to good use in a way that can be commercially scalable and produce a product on the back end after the feedstock is introduced to these reactors and that plastic is put to good use on the back end, maybe even put to a, an upcycling type of application, the pact just calls for a recycling, okay? Now they do earmark reusable, but reusable in my mind, when I do due diligence on Aduro, Aduro has the ability to take an upcycle, maybe take the molecules and put them into a product that can be actually more beneficial out in the marketplace and in more in, in a lot of cases more valuable in the marketplace. All right. A hundred percent is what the pact calls for. Get this, I read on. 50% of the plastic is uh, eff effectively recycled. 50%. Now, hold on a second. If we're producing 400 million tons, 400 million tons, 400 million tons, wrap your mind around that, okay? And we are calling by 2025 to successfully recycle 50%. 50% effectively recycled. Right now, my friends, we are less than 10%. Some statistics would show that we're in the 6 to 7% range of total recycled plastics. And the PACs by 2025 have us moving to 50%, 50, 50. I could come out with 100 Aduro videos per day, and it still would not lend it justice. This is the first time where I've ever seen an opportunity like this fly so crazy under the radar, the big institutions are busy bitching about the economy and busy bitching about interest rates all the time. This is the only stock in the entire freaking stock market that is up every freaking day. If you don't believe me, don't buy it. Don't do whatever. Throw it in your watch list and watch it. I monitor this stock Every single day, it dips down a little bit and it gets bought because the people who freaking know are in the know and it is going to catch fire and people are going to take notice because good things, my friends, in the stock market do not last. They do not last. Right now, we are in a phase. We are in a calm before the storm. It is imperative that you take note to the story right now. Right now, these 2025 packs are very, very real, and they ver are very, very looming. And the six players in the space all have varying different approaches to what they bring to the table. The largest in the space, Pure Cycle, has zero revenue, zero revenue, valued at $1.5 Pure Cycle, 
and they do not own their own technology. They do not own their own technology. You don't have to cover 50 companies. I'm going to give you the six. You can do your due diligence, do whatever you've got to do. I've already done that, okay? And I don't mean to impugn the work of the other five players in the space, but I am a bull on a Duro Clean Technologies for very concrete reasons. And the answers are out there. They're not secretive. My job is to connect the dots between people and information, people that is publicly discernible and information information that is typically saved for the large institutions and retail investors are stuck on the back end looking at opportunity and saying where in the hell was i i'm connecting those dots for you and my friends i will not apologize i will not apologize when these packs come to fruition and companies big companies named in these packs exxon chevron shell are all frantically looking for a, 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 a solution and they're all coming to the forefront to say, we will have a solution by 2025 to the tune of 100% and 50%. Now, the last statistic I want to leave you guys with is 30% of recycles recycled across all plastic packaging. I want you to stop and think about that. Okay. Right now we have 80% of plastics that are unfreaking recyclable. They're very difficult and uneconomical to recycle. If the pact calls for 30% across the board of all, let me repeat, all, let me repeat, all plastics, 30 freaking percent. To capture 30% of all plastics produced, there has to be some penetration into the hard to recycle plastics, the naughty list that I talked about, the polypropylenes, the polystyrenes, and the polyxyrenes. Those are the molecular makeups of plastic right now in 2023 that we have not solved the problem until now, until now. All right. Now, in closing, I just want to leave you guys with a couple of, of things here. I had to get it off my chest. I had to throw it out there. So you couldn't say that I did not tell you so. I, I, again, I could come out with 100 videos a day. It still would not do this opportunity justice. It's flying under the radar. I'm delivering this on a silver platter. I'm putting it out there in plain language. I'm sorry that I don't speak another language. English is my first language, and it's my only language. And I'm trying to get this across in as many words as I possibly can to help you understand that this is the calm before the storm 2025 the calm before the storm 2025 it is looming it is inevitable and my friends it is absolutely in our future we know that we have to take this problem head on and the only way that we do it is by societal changes and i think we can all agree that if somebody were just to tell me what it is that i need to do i can do what it is that i need to do but the biggest change and the most necessary change has to be with our innovative technology it has to be with our technology it has to be economically viable it has to be uh, the technology has to be actually proven out okay and these companies are hungry to apply these technologies aduro has already been third party validated they are in the process of smartly stepping up. And if you don't think that this team with Aduro that's been in the works for 10 plus years is looking to roll this out smartly, which they are, I can attest to that. Do your own research. I already have. The team is solid and they're rolling this out in a very smart and calculated way. All right. The players in the space cure currently, Pure Cycle, I just talked about it, Agilix, Quanta Fuel, uh, Givo, Cielo which Cielo is kind of like a fallen angel, all right? You'll find that Cielo made a lot of promises that they could not keep, okay? Cielo is on the way down. Aduro is undiscovered, and dare I suggest that it's on its way up? I can tell you, my friends, all the people in the stock market right now that are bitching about the fall from grace of Amazon, Google, and the large companies that ran up over the last 10 years – this company right here is making a silent splash in the stock market. I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. I will leave every piece of information in the article that I covered for you guys and your 
public dissemination is possible through the channel. Remember, we're making the connections and we are making them early. We are making the connections under the radar of the institutions because once the institutions discover this opportunity, they are going to see what it is that I have seen for the last couple of months and have done my darndest to try to get this information out to you guys with a couple of days of head start. Guys, it is looming and inevitable that the word is going to get out and the secret is not going to be a secret anymore. Thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future. Mm -hmm.